In this portion of tutorial, we're going to create a um, high field map for the mountains that will render up front. I'm going to use the world machine. You don't necessarily need to use this if you don't have it. These maps will be supplied with tutorial pack when you purchase. However, I want to just show this um, some of the mountains so you know what is involved or how it was created just in case if you need references or if you just have a world machine and want to create it your own so this is our default we started you can see we have our advanced prone settings what i want to do it is created a mountain kind of um, interesting shape so i can bring closer in our pictures and place it around areas uh, we can do inside the view, but with the world machine, we can have it more realistic look for the our high field terrains. Uh, one thing, what I want to do, I want to create the several kind of height maps, uh, height uh, mountains. For this, I'm going to use um, overview view, our layout from the top, and just created a couple of them. We'll go create new layout. Select circle, create one. Okay, so let's go just zoom out kind of. And right here, you notice we have our, so we can move it and just kind of reposition this our extent. Okay, let's go back to our layout. Okay, and one thing on this layout right now would. I want to maybe just increase a little bit fallout. Let's move right here, circle, and let's enable use it break up. As well on the break up, um, maybe not just pop up slightly roughness. This is main mountain. I want to create sub main right here on a side smaller one. So for this, I'm going to create a new layout, circle, and just create another circle right around here. I'm going to shrink it, kind of, you know, maybe um, position around this area. And both of them will be about the same height. So I will need to go after and reduce that height. So right here, kind of one mountain will be and second. Okay, if we're going to our preview, you'll notice we have it one layout. And we have a second layout. These two layouts, I want to go ahead and use a combiner to bring together. Just as an example, so we can go, yeah, let's say add. And you can see we have a two, um, our selections putting together. I want to take my the other selection, what I have with this one, and make it slightly smaller. So for that, we need to perform some modifications. Okay, so for that, we'll just use the clamp. And if you notice, when we use the clamp, we can um, kind of modify height as we want to use it. So I'll also enable normalize. Let's replace it. And next, till I'm viewing, I want to go ahead and click lock preview. In this case, when I modify open, my preview will stay on my combiner. And right here, you can see I can decrease. So I'll bring a little bit down around this area. And I want to switch my preview from add back to orange. So let me just preview um, on a max. There you go. So we'll just leave it as a max. And you can see I can add probably maybe around that height. Kind of have a nice interesting step to this. Okay, let's unlock our preview. Um, next, what I want to do is also just add a simple transform to this. And with simple transform, you can see we can kind of make a little bit nicer look. Overall, what I want to do is just move slightly these edges right around here. Just small, and uh, just pop up slightly. Okay, I think this will okay. 
and we can go and apply to the mask to our advanced perlin. So right now you can see we have a beautiful mountain applied. Okay, let's go take reduce slightly scale. Okay, we also can increase elevation and sharpness a little bit on the stepness as well. So right here we have our shape at mountain that we created. This is just basic. Uh, next, what I want to do is add what is best um, world machine, very powerful. It's with natural erosions and other filters. So I'm going to just use erosion for this. We'll go connect. And just let's take output. I want to do uh, very complex things, just very simple. So we'll have it. erosion. We'll switch to the channel so it will provide heavier effect for us to see. Uh, let's pop up geological time. You can see right here how it's affecting. So I don't want to apply too much, but just uh, right here a little bit effect. Just slightly on hardness. Okay, let's click OK and we can preview. So right here we have our mountains. And most of what I'm going to do just use it portion of these mountains, maybe rotate them around and create kind of scenery inside the view with this. Um, right now I'm okay that this look good so I'm going to pop up map and I'm going to set 4,000 pixels. The reason why because some of them I want to use a little bit closer to the camera so 4,000 will provide a good resolution. Um, you can go with low settings as well if you need it. So right here we created some. What I next one I want to do, I want to create those maps for the flow, wear, and deposit. And we already have a high field output for us. So let's go to the output. We'll go bitmap output. We create three. And we'll just connect them. Okay, let's go to. Actually, you know what? Let me. I don't want to create with a map conversion, so I'll just reuse high field instead so it will be a little bit faster okay, right here you can preview this is a map so we will have it in the end all what we need to do for these maps is just set path and what we want to render so I'm going to use a higher resolution TFF 16 Okay, so we'll specify that path. I want to do the same things for all of them. So I'm going right here, paste my path, and this is my flow. Okay, have the next one, it will be our where. So let's do the same things. Okay, and our deposit. Okay, next let's go ahead and click build the world. I'm going to pause tutorial till the render is completed and we'll come back. It shouldn't take that long at all. Okay, after render is completed, we can just click and export all. So, so far we have it for maps exported. I want to add the snow to this, but I won't use it the snow um, layout because I don't want some um, in fact, I will do snow add inside the view application. So let's go ahead right now and back to the view application and start work on this mountain. 